Hey guys, it's me, Vicstar123, with another shot at the throwing knife only free for all gameplay. And you know, we're making progress here, we really are. This was a really, really close game, and it's a really hard game actually. You know, going throwing knife only is a whole new challenge compared with Tomahawk only. I mean, here, I, was, I wasn't trying to get an impressive KD, I was just trying to win straight up, and it's a really, really close finish, really close. So anyway, I'm going to start off and throw in a few tips just in case you ever feel like going throwing knife only, you know, want to show off a little bit, then um, this is what you're going to have to do and it's it's really hard to execute. So first off, I'm um, going to talk about the class I'm running here. So we have scavenger on to resupply throwing knives, as you can see here, and um, my perk 2 is quick draw pro, so I can quickly throw those throwing knives and stone grenades, I think it's around a 40% increase in speed that it gives you and that's really important in a fast paced game just like Call of Duty. Now moving on to my third perk, I'm running Stalker Pro and two reasons behind that. The first being you can move faster when aimed down sight or in my case when you've got a throwing knife out so when you're in those situations where you're not quite sure where your enemy is going to run you can use it to just get a bit of movement because you don't want to be slowed down when you're lining up that throw knife because a slow target is an easy target. So that's the first bit of reasoning behind the Stalker Pro perk and the second is simply because it delays the fuse on explosive equipment i.e. bouncing betties and claymores and you'll notice in this game countless times I go running over bouncing betties and claymores. Now when your opponent has a big machine gun and you've got a little kitchen knife, you do not want to be running straight at them. So usually you'll find, um, especially with the camping that's going on in Modern Warfare 3 at the moment, everyone trying to get their kills in the cheapest way possible trying to rank up, you'll find a lot of people will sit in um, a corner as you see in this game and that makes actually really easy throwing knife kills but you will also find that if there is a way you can flank around behind them usually they'll have a bouncing betty or a claymore sat behind them just um, to cover that angle so they have less chance of dying because sat in a corner you don't really want to die now if you guys know me at all you'll know that I'm not the camping type I find it quite boring quite boring to play quite boring to watch and just not a very productive way to do things although it's the best way to keep your kill death ratio high but I'm not too fussed about my kill death ratio I'm about um, something different a bit of a challenge something unique as you guys probably know why the hell else would I be using a throwing knife only in this game oh and I've just noticed I have the death streak juiced on and that was really useful on this game type this gameplay because speed is of the essence it was actually really fun just tearing around uh, sticking knives in people as you see because in this game I went on you know kill streaks then death streaks then kill streaks then death streaks you'll notice that the um, I think that's just the way the luck of the game goes and really irritated about getting noob tube there I was shouting at that guy down the mic right before I forget I'm gonna get on to the kill streaks that I'm using here I am using the support package and I've got simply UAV and county UAV turned on. So, I know I'll get the questions um, such as why weren't you using the specialist package because that means you can um, unlock more perks which will help you. And the main uh, reasoning behind that is because I don't like the added pressure of the specialist strike package because if you're going throw knife only you are going to die a lot, you just have to accept that. However, when your point streak relies on you getting big kill streaks, that can just add a lot of stress and I don't think you reap the benefits back. So the support package is perfect for this type of um, playstyle, this gun and run, this rushing thing that I've got going on here. So that's the one of the reasons for using support, just simply so I don't have to worry about deaths, I can play as aggressively as I like. There's no added pressure when you're on a four kill streak and you've got two of your perks and you think if I die I'm back to square one. There's none of that, it's just right, I need to build up my kills here. And you know you're always going to get something back. The second is simply because UAVs and counter UAVs are such great kill streaks, they really are. I'm not sure where my throwing knife went there, it just seemed to disappear, which was a shame. But like I say, the UAV and counter UAV are really, really great kill streaks to be using because nothing's more valuable than knowing where your enemies are. It just becomes really useful, especially when you're throwing knife only, to flank. 
you know where your enemy is, you know where they're likely to be looking, so you just head from the other way and take them out, because a lot of the time on Call of Duty, it isn't one-to-one -one gunfights, it's flanking, killing people before they even have a chance to shoot back. And you'll usually find that whatever gun, whatever weapon you're using, if you get the right strategy going on, if you know where you're heading and where your enemy is, then most of the time you can pick up the kill. And that's just something you can apply to almost every situation that there is. So anyway, back to the current gameplay that we've got going on. I'm just one kill in the lead here, and this game was just an uphill struggle, that's all I can say. I was constantly fighting for those kills as fast as I can, and loving it when they get handed to me on a plate like that one, but not all of them were quite as easy. So we're going to look at the gameplay here. Again, use of the stun grenades to take out that guy, always um, flanking, coming up behind him, just picking up those easy kills, and just sticking at this. Now, if you've seen any of my Tomahawk only gameplays, you'll be thinking, what is Vic playing at in this game? He was getting 10 kill death ratio Tomahawk only games on Black Ops. How is he only struggling to pull off a 1 kill death ratio on Modern Warfare 3? And that is simply the difference between the Tomahawk and the throwing knife. So, the thing to take note of is that on Black Ops, you can have three stun grenades, you can resupply stun grenades, you can have two tomahawks and you can have marathon and scavenger on the same class. On Modern Warfare 3 you can't have marathon and scavenger, you can't have three stun grenades, you can't even resupply stun grenades and the throwing knife throws much slower than the tomahawk. And that goes along with a smaller hit detection with the throwing knife making it I'd say around four times harder to use than the tomahawk which isn't necessarily a bad thing because it is going to require a lot more tactics and a lot more skill bringing it back and I'm hoping I'm going to be able to deliver that just getting used to it in this game and hopefully going to have plenty more much better games on my channel in the future just going to have to bear with me on this one guys now heading back into what's going on in the game as you can see there are five kills left in the game it's a tiebreaker and the opponent takes the lead with his air support which I wasn't to be graced with so it's really really tense at this point um, absolutely kicking myself for missing the easy throwing us there it was only when I realized how close this game was and how badly I wanted to win that the pressure started to mess with me and my throwing knives were all over the place really struggling to pick up the kills and this is just shocking absolutely shocking there and you know it could be that and any other moment that actually resulted in the end game which was unfortunately guys me losing by two kills I was really really gutted about that I must admit it was really hard to compete with someone using a gun and a helicopter when I'm using just my knife. But anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you could leave a like and favorite rating, that would be absolutely great.